Hello and welcome to this video tutorial from computergargard.com and in this video we are going to look at how to create a battery chart in Excel. So we would like to create a battery chart just like the battery that you see on your smartphone or your tablet device or even your PC. The one that tells you how much battery is remaining until uh, it has run out. So we can use this type of chart on our Excel spreadsheets to monitor things such as budgets or kind of uh, progress towards task completion or project completion. Anything where you're trying to check the kind of level remaining or kind of progress towards some kind of goal or, um, or completion. So on the spreadsheet at the moment, I have a budget amount to use this kind of budget example in cell C6. Then I have amounts that are being spent down column A here, A6 and downwards. And I've got a sum function in cell A14 that totals the amount spent. Up top, A1 to E2 is the range of cells we will use for the battery chart. Cells B2 and E2 currently contain 5% in each of them. Now these are the top and bottom cap. So on the battery, these are yeah, like the caps at the top and the bottom, the little bits on the edge of the battery. Whereas the information in the middle is what we're actually going to chart. Cell D2 contains a formula that finds out how much we have spent, A14, divided by the budget, so the uppermost limit, to find out the percentage currently completed of it. So we've got 28%. And then cell C2 has a simple or one takeaway D2 to find out the percentage remaining. 28% has been spent, therefore 72% is remaining. And this gives us the values we need to chart. So we're going to begin by selecting the required range, which is A1 to E2. And we are going to insert a column. I'm going to go for one of these stacked cylinders, one that compare the contribution of a value uh, across categories. So it looks a bit like a battery. That's why we're going for these, these cylinders. Now initially in our first creation, I get this training budget chart and I have a separate cylinder for each column or data series of the range selected, which is not what we want. So on the design tab under chart tools here, I'm going to click the switch row column button to swap the data over the axes, then giving us one cylinder. So it moves it into a legend instead, that information. And although it's got a little bit further to go to improve this, we can see the top and the bottom cap there, the purple and the blue, the edges of the battery. And within the battery, we've got the green spent area and the red remaining battery area or remaining budget area. Okay, so the next step is to remove some of these unwanted chart elements. So one of them will be the legend. If I click once on this key on the right, this legend, press delete, that will disappear. Now I can click on the value axes to the left hand side. One of them numbers, I do not want that. Press delete, it's gone. I can then click on the category axes, training budget on the bottom there. Press delete, that is gone. I'm then going to click on one of these lines, one of these grid lines to select them, press delete and they're gone. And the only thing remaining I want to remove is the floor. I click once on the floor, press delete and that is gone, leaving the battery. Now you can see the battery at the moment has quite a strong 3D effect. We want to remove that next. You know, I don't really get that 3D effect on my smartphone. It's kind of 2D image, really. 
So I'm going to double click somewhere in this chart area of the chart. And I'm going to move into the 3D rotation category there. And I'm going to set the X and the Y values to zero. So zero rotation on both X and Y. And close that down so we have this more 2D looking cylinder, a lot flatter. And I'm just going to resize my chart at that point as well because I don't really want it to be quite that wide. Let's tidy this up a little bit. Here we go. It's looking a little bit better. Okay, right. The next step now is to change the colors, the formatting of the battery. So in turn, I'm going to double click on each of the four parts of the battery, move into the fill area and set a solid fill color to each part. So I'm going to choose quite a dark color for the two caps. Here we go, it's another dark color for the other cap. For the spent area, which is currently green for me, I'm going to set that in white. And the actual battery level, the remaining level, I'm going to set as green because of my Samsung phone, that is what I have. So this looks a bit more like the battery I see on my, my phone. Okay, um, we are nearly there. The only other thing we could do, uh, which is completely optional, is we could go to the Layout tab and insert a chart title. You might want to label what this battery is, especially if you have more than one on one sheet. So I could choose Above Chart. I'm going to label this the training budget and press enter and here I have my training budget battery chart so if in cell A11 uh, some more training was spent maybe another £1,000 as I enter that and press enter you can see the battery level drop because the sum function totals it here that is then calculated in the data source that the chart is using. So we can see the battery level drop as I progress towards completion or uh, the, the level kind of running out. And that is our awesome battery chart in Excel.